getting so many freckles. I don't know why. I'm brown. I shouldn't be getting freckles. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brown Printer Beauty. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to do color correction on your face before you go in with your foundation, just to help even out your skin and also help you use less products and less foundation on your face. So yeah, if you like the sound of it, then keep on watching and I'll show you all the process I do, all the products I use and how I use them all that good stuff so without any further ado let's get started all right before i go into how i color correct i want to show you the products i usually use to color correct my skin these are the three products i usually need even not the green one so much but the orange and the deep peach sort of color from bobby brown this is what it looks like so these are the three products that i mostly use to color correct my skin so green one i usually use it when i have redness on my face like for example if i use a scrubber or if I use like a chem chemical peel or something like that and I get a little bit of redness and I want to put makeup on I would use the green one and if I want to color correct my pigmentation which is darkness around your mouth or underneath your eyes I use the orange or the peach from Bobbi Brown so these two are from LA Girl Pro Concealers and the, this is from Bobbi Brown the cream corrector the orange corrector and uh, obviously if you're darker than me you would need something deeper or even this one will work if you're lighter than me you might want to go for a lighter sort of peach color for your brown spots or discoloration I believe green one will work for pretty much any redness depends how bad your redness is any normal green should work for you and also I believe you can get purples and yellows uh, color correctors to really give your skin a bit of a a little, little bit of kick to make you look awake and not so tired I do have a yellow one I've got this Ole Henriksen's Banana Bright Banana Bright Face Primer. This has a little bit of yellow tint and it kind of helps your whole face to look very luminous and very like awake. That makes sense because your skin sometimes can look dull if you haven't had a good night's sleep or you didn't drink enough water or you're just stressed out so your skin can look quite tired. This will pick it up and make it look nice and fresh so yeah all these are the color correctors that you can get usually in the market and with color correction what I've seen on Instagram and YouTube I see a lot of people put a lot of product to color correct their skin but in real life you don't need to put that much because I've seen people and I used to be one of those people I used to put a lot of orange and you know green on my forehead if I have a pimple and you know just to like exaggerate but you need very very little in real life because you are going out in the sun during daytime at nighttime you can get away with it because it's nighttime and people usually have a lot of makeup on but during the daytime not a lot of people wear makeup so if you're the one with a lot of makeup and a lot of coverage on your face people will notice that and some people might like it <laughs> to get that sort of attention personally I don't uh, just depends where I'm going really if I'm going to the mall I don't want that attention but if I'm going for a brunch or lunch or you know some hangout with my friends then I might actually put some you know heavier sort of makeup so it just depends really depends on you what you want personally for daytime I will use very little of these products just because even the littlest would go a long way to cover your face and discoloration and things like that anyway so let me stop talking and let me show you what I do for myself so I want to show you the steps that I do before I color correct so the first thing I would do is go in with a face spray this is a setting spray by glow recipe this is the watermelon glow ultra fine mist I have been loving this product recently it has hyaluronic acid one of my favorite acids in the world and just feels very divine so I'm just gonna spray that and just let it dry and maybe like press it into my skin the next thing I'm gonna go in is my Ole Henriksen banana bright primer this is not necessary but like I said yellow tint as you can see it has a little bit of yellow tint can make your skin kind of like awake and freshen it up and give your color back if you look quite dull so i'm just gonna put this all over my face and this primer is really nice for daytime and nighttime you can probably just see how the glow comes back i need to be very careful i've already done my brows and i don't want to ruin them and i can go underneath my eyes with this as well 
just don't rub the skin underneath your eye as you can see like I said my rosacea kind of like goes crazy I get like redness I don't even know if this is actually rosacea it just my face gets red so I usually use my Bobbi Brown when my discoloration is not very bad so my around my chin area is not bad so I'm just going to use this product today there and what I usually do I use it like this I take it on my middle finger or ring finger and I just press that product into my skin and you need to take very little you don't want to go crazy with it the great thing about this product is it's almost like my skin with a little bit of peach undertone so it really looks like my skin so anywhere and everywhere I think I need a little bit of correction okay the next thing I'm going to use is my LA Pro LA Girl Pro concealer this one is in color Fawn. This is close to my skin color so that's why I like to use this as a color corrector as well as a concealer. As you can see I've got some discoloration around here. It's not bad. My foundation usually covers it but because of this video I'll show you how I usually whoops too much. Okay I'm gonna just again use my finger. You can use a brush to put this product on but I like to do it with my fingers because it tends to warm up the product. You can see all that little spots are gone. Um, with my finger, the product gets warmer and kind of like melts into my skin. And a little of this product goes a long way. You don't need to use a lot of product. So if I wanted to, I can cover my rosacea or redness with this one as well, as well as my other discoloration. If it's not too bad, this will work fine. But if I feel like my discoloration is too much, then I would want to use the peach color because it will kind of like break the discoloration. I'll show you. There was a little pimple right there, so I just put this on top of it. And because I took out so much of product, I'll show you how I usually do with the brown and I'll do one side with the green. So with the brown, I just go like this. I'm getting so many freckles. I don't know why. I'm brown. I shouldn't be getting freckles. Okay, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go in with my orange LA concealer and I'm going to use this for my under eyes because my under eyes are worse than my pigmentation at the moment around my mouth. So I'm going to use the orange one. Again, I'm going to clean my finger and I'm going to take the orange one on it. Again, you need very little. You can use a brush to put them on, but like I said, I like to use my finger because it just breaks the product into my skin quite nicely. I used to be crazy doing this, using this con like corrector, like I'll just go line, line, line. Alright, the next color corrector I'm going to use is the green one. So the green one hides the redness. I usually don't like using the green one because I feel like sometimes green can make your skin look really, really dry, especially if you're brown skin. So I tend to not use it if I don't have to, but if I have a really bad pimple and it's like very red, then I would use it. So I will choose a very little can see and I'm already done this side so I'm just gonna just press it and really press this one into my skin because I don't want the green to kind of dry my skin out and the green tint can look gray sometimes on brown people so I don't like that so I'll make sure as you can see I pretty much blended that into my skin do you have any redness anywhere else maybe a little bit here Again, the warmth of my fingers going to break down the product and really melt it into my skin. The redness is gone. And I've got this really beautiful pimple mark here. It's still going. My pimples usually take a very long time to go away. I don't know why, but they do. Oh, you can see that that redness is gone and so yeah always do spot treatments with your con color correctors you don't have to go crazy uh, obviously you can't do spot treatments here but this is how I usually do it all right so now I would just go ahead and do my foundation to show you how little you need color correction to really help your foundation I'm going to use the thinnest foundation I have this is by Clarence Skin Illusion mineral and plant extracts this is an old version they have a new version now i got this i think it was on sale so i bought this one so i'm gonna take a few pumps of this 
and this one is almost like a BB cream so you'll see how just doing this you would need the least amount of product of this so so I'm just gonna take this and put it all over my face and I'm gonna take my wet beauty sponge and I'm just going to spread that product all right as you can see you can't see my pimple you can't see any discoloration on my face nothing's coming through which is pretty awesome and I used very very little product no nothing the only thing you can see is the orange obviously because I haven't put any concealer on there I tend to not put any foundation underneath because I don't want too many layers underneath my eyes because it is a very thin layer and the more products you put the more obvious it's going to look uh, especially during the daytime so I tend to just put a concealer for my concealer, I'm going to use one of my favorites, which is my NARS concealer. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. It is super nourishing, super moisturizing, and again, I'm using very little, very tiny little dots. And again, taking my beauty sponge, and I'm just going to press the product. Now you can see that my orange underneath my eyes is completely locked in and my eyes look really even and really luminous and they don't look tired or discolored at all and I'm going to go and put a powder underneath and now I'm going to go into my translucent powder this is by Laura Mercier and I'm going to take my beauty sponge and take very little of that and I'm just going to press this onto my skin and I'm gonna make sure that I put very thin layer of it. I don't want to overdo it and this will make sure that I've got a flawless finish. Same thing on the other side. If you want you can put your powder all over your face if you want a bit more matte finish and also if you are oily skin. Uh, I tend to just spray my makeup spray or, I mean, I do do it. It just depends on the day. Today, I don't feel like doing it, so I'm just gonna spray my makeup spray by Glow Recipes. This will give you a nice, luminous sort of set and finish, plus also put everything in place. And what I'll do now is give me two seconds and I'll be right back and I'll finish off my makeup. All right, I've done my makeup and I've put like bronzer on, I've put blush on, and I've put highlighter on and you can't see any discoloration come through no redness or the darkness everything seems perfect and the last thing i'm going to do is again spray my glow recipes two reasons one because it's going to set my makeup and just make it look everything nice and hold everything together also because i love using this so let me try this again all right, this is it, and this is what my skin looks like. Pretty even, nothing's peeping through. My under eyes look pretty awake. My skin looks pretty luminous. And yeah, this is how I do my process of my color correcting. Like I said, you don't need to use too many products and too much of products. You can have the littlest product and it will work fine. It's just how you apply it, how much you apply it, and the areas you apply it. That's really what is color correcting all about. You don't need thousands of different products like you see on Instagram. You just need one or two color correctors that really work for you and your skin. And brand is not really another issue, I would say. My LA Pro Girl... LA Girl Pro concealers are usually like $10 or $12 depending where you buy it. So they're super cheap and I think my Bobbi Brown was $45. Could be less or more. Like it's expensive. That's that's the point. And obviously you don't need them. You know, you don't need the expensive one. You don't need the cheap one. You can go in the middle or you can go for the cheap one or you can go for the standard one, like the expensive one. But yeah, do what works for you and get the products that works for you. I will put all the details down below of the products I've used, including the concealers and also my makeup that I've done, uh, including the highlight and the foundations and things like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it helpful, fun, entertaining. And if you liked it, then give a thumbs up. Share this video with someone who will also find it helpful. Maybe they will find some useful tips and tricks from this video. And yeah, 
Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Be happy and positive. I'll see you guys later. Bye.